Okay, this is the inside of my plasma cutter. What is going on is when I run the CNC, uh, I guess I should get you guys up. I've got the, um, the Z figured out. I took it apart, uh, put it back together, and it just miraculously started working again. I don't know what I did, but uh, David from CNC and C, I called him, and he gave me some hand, gave me a help, some help uh, figuring out the the settings on the machine, what they needed to be. So my uh, uh, when you go to configurator, that's how you set the uh, settings for the Super Z. Well, pretty much the whole machine. Uh, you set your uh, your Z-axis up with your home switch offset, which is when it detects that that home switch, um, it backs up off of it by that much. So you're not like resting on the switch anymore. You're actually just floating off the material by you know a piece of paper's width. I think I may have mentioned it before. And then he helped me set up my inputs. And this is the way I've got my inputs set up um, so that my probe and my Z-home switch will, um, will work together. So there's one's a backup for the other in case the uh, probe misses. The Z-home switch is always going to be there to catch it. So I won't have as many, uh, as many uh, missed, uh, missed homes, you know, so I don't have a collision. Um, and also... We set up my limits input for all limits, and I think that is because um, the breakaway is actually a limit switch. It's wired into the limit, so when the breakaway pops loose, it's basically like hitting a limit switch on your on your uh, on your thing on your uh, on your table uh, or an e stop. It's all the same thing. E stops, limit switches, and and the uh, breakaway are all uh, they're all wired in a big loop and when one of them trips it knocks the machine out and stops it from damaging itself so that's the way that's set up so everything is is put back together over here the thing homes like it's supposed to and everything but i noticed yesterday an issue i was having um when i when i thought i had everything zipped up and put back together correctly i started uh, jogging the machine around and i noticed it was pausing and hesitantly starting and stopping while I was pressing the keys, when you do this, uh, your number, your uh, your direction pad here is is actually your uh, the way you jog your X and Y, and then your page up and down is your Z. I was having no issues with Z. I was only having issues with X and Y, and it was hesitantly stopping and starting, and randomly, you know, there was no uh, rhyme or reason to it. And I thought it might be, I thought it might be another setting on the machine that I had tripped or something like that. I thought maybe I had come down here and change the job type from continuous to something else but it was still continuous that was not an issue um so i went in had dinner came back out and tried again and all of a sudden it worked i had no hesitant starting starting or stopping everything was great it was like i was ready to go then i powered up the plasma and all of a sudden the uh, starting and stopping came back so i undid the crown clamp from the material over here and um and then it started flowing again just Smooth and easy, no problems. Everything was great. Um, as long as the plasma machine is off, it would run good. As soon as I turned the plasma on and the ground clamp was attached, I would have the, uh, the starting stopping issues. Um, what I did was I hooked up my, my multimeter between the, uh, the work clamp between the work clamp and the table, just anywhere on the table. Really, I think I could have gone anywhere. I could have probably gone to stick the lead into the dirt out there, and it was generating like a hundred, a hundred volts DC if I uh, if I had the uh, if I had my multimeter set correctly. Um, so I got it on, on DC right now. I was picking up a lot of volts. So uh, I talked to a guy on, um, on Facebook in my uh, plasma table forum. And he said that sometimes the bat, maybe I popped when I was popping the breaker the other day when I was cutting the, uh, you know, at 100 amps. Maybe uh, this 50 amp plug and going through this 50 foot cord, which is underrated for what I'm trying to do. Definitely underrated for 100 amps. 
maybe uh, somewhere in there there was an issue. I checked and sure enough, right here, it was melted. Um, and the contacts were all loose. So the heat probably loosened them up and melted the uh, melted the, the plastic a little bit on the inside of the housing. So I fixed that. Put it back together. Just powered on the machine because I'm going to get that fixed. But for right now, I just want to make sure I've got my problem solved. And it didn't solve my problem. I've still got 20-something volts coming between my uh, my work clamp and my table. And I've still got the hesitant starting and stopping. So the next thing is to start probing. I've got to get out a wiring schematic. And I've got to figure out which one of these is the transformers. And start probing those guys to see if they've got the appropriate voltage. And that not one of them hasn't been grounded out to somehow to the to the work clamp which is coming in right here all this is powered down right now so I need to do a little bit more research before I start probing uh, this is how I hooked up my um, when you do your torch height control I guess this is the torch sensor PMW module this is what communicates to this and this ultimately communicates to the control box and to this router underneath here. And that router sends it up to the PC. So that's how that's how your uh, that's how your uh, computer gets the signal from for Arc OK and um, and also voltage. The voltage comes from here. Your torch height control comes from this digital current probe. Because I'm running this older machine, um, I had to wire this stuff in, and this is stuff that they sell it at um, C and C and C. Um, I didn't, I'm not running these two cords because this phone jack serves that purpose. This uh, headphone jack comes in here and plugs in right here and then comes out right here. And that's how you get your divided bolts. If you take this off, on the back, there's a uh, a little jumper, a little jumper that you change to adjust the voltage. But it seems to operate fine where it's at. I don't know where it's at, it, to be honest. But it, wherever I set it, it's working good, and I'm not changing it. Uh, or it was working good before this all happened. Um, that is pretty much all I have to add to the situation at this point in time. I'm hoping that somewhere down the line, somebody has the same problem as me and I could have, I could end up being of some kind of help to him with this stuff. Um, I don't think there's, I don't see any obvious burning anywhere in this stuff. I don't know. I don't have adequate light back here on the back side, but <clears throat> that's pretty much it. I'm going to start uh, probing that thing and we're going to see. So wish me luck.